Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Will the Dragon Whisperer, here with Tar Hill Exotics, and this is another video for the channel. And you guys, I have posted over a hundred plus videos on my channel, and this is the most important video I've ever made. Um, you guys, we're going to be going over some information in this video about some upcoming legislation. It is some buried uh, legislation that is deep within a big bill called the American Competes Act. And this legislation has to do with the Lacey Act. And you guys, this could change this hobby forever. And it could be detrimental to not only breeders, but zoos, aquariums, and private keepers just like you. So uh, if you guys don't know about this yet and haven't heard about this yet, please watch this video in its entirety. And please reach out to your local senators or congressmen because this bill is very important that we act and US ARC has been instrumental and we're gonna have links in the description to all the resources you guys need to contact the appropriate people in your area because we cannot afford this legislation to pass you guys so stay tuned and we're gonna get right into it did want to show you guys my new banana pectinata that I just got at the recent Repticon uh, she's a beautiful female, and you guys will be seeing her a little more later in the video, but let's jump right into it. A lot of information to cover, and this is the most important information I've ever done a video on. So, hope you guys stay and watch it in, it, in its entirety, and uh, we're going to get right into it. Let's hit the road. Rose, we know and we don't need Rose. Okay, this piece of legislation, H.R. 4521, was introduced by Representative Eddie Johnson and is part of the American Competes Act. Now, I did want to start this out on a lighter note and show you guys this beautiful picture of this young girl at the Repticon and some footage of my booth at the Repticon um, with Tar Heel Exotics and uh, just the fact that it's only been a year or two since I've been growing my channel and growing my business and I've been able to expand up to a four table uh, area at the Repticon and at the local reptile shows and this is something that is going to be threatened by this legislation is the ability for us as reptile keepers to attend these shows and for breeders and reptile hobbyists to be able to present their ideas and their animals at these shows and really give an opportunity for reptile keepers and uh, future reptile keepers and people who are interested in reptiles to be able to go to these shows and talk to quality keepers and quality breeders about husbandry to be able to purchase animals and purchase things for their animals. There are a lot of other things at these shows besides just the animals. There's enclosures, there's enrichment items, there's uh, uh, literature and information there for husbandry and uh, there's people that's trying new things there's new breeding projects there's animals that people have never seen in their life and there's a lot of educational opportunities at these shows and uh, this is something that's going to definitely be threatened if this legislation is passed and it's something that we don't want to lose as hobbyists and um, as reptile breeders and keepers um, it was very fortunate for me to be at this show. Uh, I met a lot of great people, and uh, Tar Heel Exotics is really working hard to make our name in the uh, industry as a company that has quality animals and uh, has the highest standards for customer service. We really like to be able to reach out to all our customers with any care questions or animal questions or species questions, um, whether it's something we sell or even if the animal is not purchased from us, um, we kind of always try to be there to help anybody who needs uh, that kind of information. Okay, guys, now let's get into this actual legislation. Now, this is part of the American Competes Act, which actually has a lot of good stuff that could benefit our country. But deep inside of here is changes to the Lacey Act, which concerns our hobby in a major way. And it's very sneaky that our government has buried this legislation concerning our reptiles deep in the middle of this act. Boy, you kind of snuck up on me then. I am a bit of a sneaky, sir. I see that. Okay, now let's get into the gist of this law. Basically, right now, we have a system where you have blacklists in different states. Each state has their own list of animals that you cannot own in that state, and some counties even have their own lists. But basically, if your animal is not on that blacklist, you can own that animal, or you can move it from state to state, or it can be shipped to a state that is not on the blacklist. But... Our legislators are trying to change this, and it's already passed in the House. So the Senate is now 
uh, looking at this legislation, and I just want to take a minute uh, really quick to let the person who put this legislation and buried this in there uh, know what I think about them. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. May God have mercy on your soul. Okay, you guys, now let's get into the actual specifics of this legislation. Um, basically, right now, like I said, we have blacklists uh, in your area. Maybe your state or your county has different animals that you are not allowed to own legally. Um, sometimes you have to have permits for some of the animals, but some are just banned outright. Now, some of these laws make sense, like in Florida with the retics and the berms, because they become so invasive. But uh, other laws just don't make sense at all. Like in Toronto, for example... They have legislation that no one can own a snake that is over three meters long. Now, anybody that knows anything about snakes that are over three meters long, like Burmese or retics, uh, are not going to survive the winter in Toronto. They're not going to become invasive. Um, I'm not sure if there are some other snakes that are over three meters that uh, that would be, but um, that it's just a broad-scale legislation that they passed, and it doesn't make any sense. This is more of that legislation. They are trying to go to basically a whitelist system where you will have to prove an animal is not an injurious species is the wording they use in the legislation and that basically can be anything they say is an injurious species and I'm not sure what the process will be I'm still doing research on that but basically if you can't prove an animal is not an injurious species then it will not be placed on the white list and you will not be able to own it um, there's still uh, speculation yet whether people will be grandfathered in, and that will probably be from state to state but um, basically it's going to change from animals you can't own to animals you can own and if your animal is not on that list you're not going to be able to own it it's basically things like these poison dart frogs um, you know they're probably going to be very easy for someone who doesn't know about the species and doesn't know that they're not poisonous and toxic in captivity for the most part and they're going to try to probably label this an injurious species there's probably going to be hard road to get a species like this on the white list because there's going to be people with misinformation that are going to say this species is an injurious species. Um, you know, things like this Texas alligator lizard um, watching it hunt for crickets here. This is a species that comes from Texas and, um, you know, northern and central Mexico. Uh, if this law passes, you're not going to be able to move animals across state lines, basically for any reason. And this is for aquariums, research centers, zoos. Um, if you you were to move from an, your state to another state if this law passes you could not take your animals across the state lines with you to your new residence um, if this law passes and you have a vet you live in a border town you live in northern Texas and your vets in Oklahoma you would not be able to take your vet 20 minutes across the state lines to a local vet right there on the other side of the state line even if you're gonna be back in an hour or two this would be in violation of the law and penalties, we're talking about five years to $20,000 fine. And I'm still doing the research. If anybody knows, comment below. But this could be per animal. So say you took two animals to the vet, you could be liable of $40,000 and 10 years in prison for taking your animals across the state line and back to the vet. This legislation is ridiculous, you guys, and you have to write your senators. It has already passed the House of Representatives on February the 4th of this year, just a few weeks ago, and the Senate has this bill on the floor right now. You guys, we have to make sure that our voices are heard. This is one of the most important things that you could ever do if you love reptiles. Write your state senators right now like i said i'm going to have links in the description to the u.s art website and to the list of your senators where you can find their address so you can write to them you guys, we have to stop this. This is going to crush breeding. Um, you know, these beautiful little crested gecko babies, I would not be able to ship them across state lines if someone wanted to purchase these from Tar Heel Exotics. I've shipped crested geckos and gargoyle geckos to Nevada, to California. No concerns, no issues, but that could never happen again. Um, you know, even if your species that you would like to own in the future 
makes the miraculous uh, ability to to get onto this white list these legislatures are talking about, then you still would not be able to purchase it unless it was available in your state from someone locally because you could not have it shipped in. And if you produce an animal, you could not ship it to someone else in another state. This is crucial, crucial legislation, guys. We have to step up. We have to make our voices heard. We cannot let this happen to our hobby. Please share this video. Please write your senators. Please do whatever you can. And please donate to U.S. ARC. That is super important. Donate to U.S. ARC. What an amazing little species. These flathead knob scale lizards. The smaller one here is the male. And the bigger one is the female. I just watched this, watched this class too. There must be some wind on there. But this is definitely one of those species that... Um, just because they're not really well known in the pet trade. There's not a lot of research out there about these guys and info about them. This is like a species that's going to be very hard to get on a white list uh, if that's what happens with this legislation. So this is a species that probably will you know, be passed out of the pet trade and no one will ever own these once the ones that are uh, in people's collections right now pass away. Um, if they're not successful in breeding this species. And this is a species that gives live young. This is one of the few reptiles. Um, these flathead and obscale lizards bear live young, and the female can lay up to six. But it's usually just once each reproductive cycle, so these guys don't produce a whole lot. Um, and there's not really a lot of people who have been successful captive breeding them besides Mr. Patrick I. Quinta um, from All Things Wild in Pennsylvania. This is their setup. They live in kind of a scrub land, but they really like to hide in rock crevices. So I've got a lot of little rocks st stacked up there, and they're on eco-earth and place sand mixture. But, yeah, you guys, this, this uh, legislation is very important, and this little awesome species right here is one of the reasons why um, we need to do what we can do to try to fight this legislation and stuff like this. And now this is one of my new additions to the reptile room here and my personal collection. This will not be a breeder or anything that will uh, ever be up for sale, um, I hope. Uh, but this is um, my banana pectinata. I have wanted one of these for a long time. Spiny tail iguana. This young girl had a broken tail that's regenning here. And... Um, a good buddy of mine, Bill, from AHP Exotics out of South Carolina. If you guys don't know about him, check him out on Facebook. Um, I'm not sure what other platforms they're on, but I know they're at Facebook, and you can usually always find them at the North Carolina and South Carolina Repticons. He usually brings an immense amount of animals, all really beautiful. You know, He's the guy that will have the monitors and the uh, multiple species of monitors and, and animals like this. Uh, animals that you don't see a lot. Um, he had some beautiful uh, agamas at the last show. Um, but this guy, uh, or this girl, I'm sorry, she is a banana pectinata. And this is another species that this is in, in the iguana family. And because they've already been banned in so many states, uh, this is probably a species that will not be on a white list uh, if that's what happens because there'll be people that are concerned this species could get invasive even though they could not survive winters in most states. Uh, I mean, they banned animals already that could have been scientifically proven that could not become invasive, and the politicians in those areas banned them anyway. So uh, that's not always a deciding factor with our politicians, unfortunately. Um, they go off a lot of misinformation and all feelings and emotions and not on scientific facts. Uh, I think we've seen plenty of that in our country, uh, not just speaking about reptiles, but I'm not going to speak on that because YouTube's so um, Nazi-ish about what they ban. If you mention anything here about COVID or COVID misinformation or stuff that the government has changed or got wrong in the last year or two, you can't speak on that or YouTube. It doesn't even matter if it's a reptile video, YouTube will take it down. Um, they've gotten really crazy with their policing lately, um, and I thought we lived in a country of free speech, but that's, that's I digress. Um, but this banana pectinata, this is a species that will get about four feet long, but they don't have the temperament of the blue or green iguanas. Um, they more have the temperament of a rhino iguana or a, uh, a Cuban rock iguana, and this girl's beautiful. We have yet to name her yet, so if you guys have any name suggestions, hit me up in the comments. But I had this old chameleon cage. I have a misting system that I'm setting 
setting up in here today so she'll have plenty of water and hydration and humidity even though it's a screen cage but it's working out for her great she loves to climb on all the branches she's up there in her hot spot right now um, and we're going to get her probably a little bit bigger water feature so she can actually swim if she wants to. But she's got a nice little bowl of fruits and vegetables over there. And then she's got some greenery over here. I put some nice little uh, food shelves in this enclosure so that she has some areas to eat that aren't down on the floor of the enclosure. But um, that is my new banana pectinata. And once again, this is a species that's going to be very hard to own if this law passes. Once again, you guys... This is Will the Dragon Whisperer, here with Tar Hill Exotics, and uh, the new little banana pectinata, she has escaped uh, and uh, ran up on the cage there, but uh, I'm hoping she's going for a nice little salad of fruit over there in the corner, but hope you guys enjoyed the video, hope you guys will take the time to reach out and uh, make sure that your representatives for your government and your area know how you feel about this legislation. So once again, smash that like button, ring that notification bell. Hit me up on Tar Hill Exotics on Morph Market if you're looking to add a new reptile to your collection. Hope to see you guys at an upcoming Repticon or Show Me Snake Show. Thank you guys so much. This is the Dragon Whisperer, and I'm out.